All right, number five. Well, this another straightforward coffee. It's kind of a sweet, crisp balance that we associate with really fine, but not particularly distinctive coffee. Yeah. Again, no, my, my first, in terms of processing method, my first guess would be washed coffee. Could be a very, very clean, natural. There's a processing method called honey that we haven't talked about. It could be a honey, but it's not that processing method not used much in Ethiopia, so I'm guessing washed. Could be, a, again, there's a kind of a nice fruit, su fruity sweetness. Kind of, it's a caramel, again, I'd call it. Kind of a floral caramel. You get a very nice, quiet, floral character to this. You could, maybe it's like subdued honeysuckle. Kind of a nice, sweet, mm. floral note wrapped inside the caramel. Getting any chocolate? I'm getting some, yeah. Sort of edges yeah. between caramel and chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> a little bold. Yeah. Chocolate-covered caramel. <laughs> Milky Way. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of citrus fruit, I think, in it, right? Yeah, yeah, I get some. Sweet crispness, like sweet lemon. Maybe you could even say, well, it's a little bit of a lemonade. Yeah, definitely now. It's a very nice, a very unassuming, but pleasing. You like the cup? Mm-hmm. I do. Right away, too. There's a very pronounced, uh, what we call acidity in this coffee. Acid has a bad name, but acidity is good in coffee. We, it's a kind of sweet tart sometimes with a little bit of a bitter edge, but mostly sweet and tart. So this has pronounced acidity, a kind of low-key acidity. Carries nicely right into the finish, doesn't it? What do you think the dominant note in the cup yeah. is? I was thinking fruit. But it's a kind of a, it's not a juicy, it's, it's not no. a, a juicy it's not fresh. kind of, or fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. But it's very pleasant. Yeah. I don't eat figs very often, but it could be a kind of a dried fig, I suppose. Fig, interesting. But maybe yeah, it's not either. as complex as fig. We talked about a little bit of citrus in the nose, right? Mm -hmm. I'm getting that in the cup. Yeah. It's uh, quite balanced, again, as we said about, I think uh, number two was very balanced. This is, is also very balanced. It has just enough to balance so that the balance is not boring. And there's that nice, crisp depth to the cup. Okay, I'm about finished speaking about this coffee. I think it has a very nice finish, though, also, speaking mm -hmm. of finishing. Yeah, and it, it nice all the way through. Okay, this is... Sheldrake Roasters, Ethiopian, and there's almost, I mean, there's nothing on the bag. I had to do a little research to find out, but I did. It's uh, Sheldrake is in Long Beach, and they're online too, of course. All these coffees are now. Yeah, I met a Mike who owns it, <laughs> the guy at the roastery, roaster, and his, his son, Mike, too, is, and they've been around for a while. I used to work at uh, BC Ireland. If you uh, that goes way back to people in the coffee business, but what is the uh, process? Of, did you find anything? And it is a it, yeah, it is a it's a washed it's it's a Yurga, wash Yurgashef. Okay, Yurgashefe and aroma dried plum and soil flavor. I didn't really get that. I got, but they're claiming aroma dry nutty slight citrus. I would agree with that. More fruity than nutty, uh, and um, they're. Body medium, balanced, I would agree with all those things that yeah. they're claiming. So, This is a kind of standard Ethiopia coffee, I would say. Probably was freshest, the green beans, not talking about the roasted, but the green beans probably came in when the Ethiop 
opiate, the height of the of the mm. shipping period. So that's probably six months six ago. Months, yeah. I suspect that it's been around the warehouse a while, and that it probably had more exciting aromatics. Uh, I tasted it two or three months ago, uh, but it's still a very satisfying coffee. Just the way it's presented as Ethiopian, without a lot of additional uh, information, suggests. Uh, its cup. <laughs> it's just very straightforward. You can recognize, I think, in some of the floral and citrus uh, character that it has a kind of generically Ethiopian character <laughs> of, uh, of a washed, straightforward Ethiopian coffee. Very nice. Yeah. Very drinkable, as as we sometimes say at Coffee Review. Yeah. it's a, Accessible. Yeah, accessible, particularly accessible. Very easy on the palate. 